I'm literally speechless. You guys were dubious about Kristen Cavallari's Eats in a Day with Harper's Bazaar. Well, blessed day, she's posted an updated What I Eat in a Day. Let's talk about it. Good morning. I'm going to do another What I Eat in a Day. So when I first wake up, I try to drink a ton of water. And then I'm in LA right now, so I have these minerals. It's um, sea moss, which is really good for you. So I try to eat a couple tablespoons every morning just because it's so good for you. Oh, sea moss gel. The sea moss gel went quite viral around the time that everyone were pumping out a lot of celebrity smoothies. We had the obvious Hailey Bieber one. Then I think we had a Bella Hadid one. Then we had a Kourtney Kardashian one. And definitely one of those had sea moss gel in it. And I'm going to guess by looking at the one that Kristen Cavallari is having because it's blue. I think she's having the true sea sea moss gel with blue spirulina and mint. And sea moss is one of those ingredients that's like touted as being a superfood. But remember, we know that superfood means jack shit and it literally is just a marketing term. And sea moss gel isn't cheap. This one is $47.50 unless you subscribe and save. 18 servings in this sea moss gel and so that makes it $2.63, 64 if we're rounding up, $2.64 per serving of sea moss gel. That's wild! Follow that by some more water. Then I'm off to Erewhon to get these iced coconut milk lattes, which is freaking heaven. They're so good. They use this raw coconut. And then I always get the Hailey Bieber glazed strawberry glazed smoothie. It's really good. This is basically my every morning when I'm in LA. I'm really getting the vibes that Kristen Cavallari is trying to go down the wellness route. So she's not only having the Hailey Bieber smoothie, which is $20. She also has the crushed cochino. The coffee is $8. $28 just on two beverages at Erewhon. And don't get me wrong, folk can spend their money on whatever they want. If you like and enjoy the Hailey Bieber smoothie, go for it. If you really like the cochino at Erewhon, go for it. But the thing is that really grinds my gear is about this kind of wellness culture is how expensive it is and what places like Erewhon imply is that in order to be the epitome of health you have to spend this amount of money and we've talked about this many times healthy looks different on everybody and being healthy shouldn't come with a $28 price tag for two beverages at Erewhon but thanks to the likes of wellness culture wellness industry etc it often does come with that hefty price tag and we feel like we need to pay that amount of money in order to be what society deems as healthy when in actuality, we really don't. And like I said, healthy looks different on everybody. Was I boring you, Manchego? Probably. Then I'm off to an Uncommon Beauty photo shoot where I had another coffee because I'm gonna be working all day and I just like that little extra caffeine boost. Kristen Cavallari's got a beauty brand. Did we know this? $32 for a jelly cleanser. I don't think I knew about this. So she's had another Air One smoothie. We're gonna guess that it costs around $8. So by now she has spent how much at Air One? It's not even lunchtime and she hasn't even bought any solid food. For lunch, got Goop Kitchen. I got their Cobb salad. I was almost done with my salad when I remembered to film my video. For those that don't know, Goop Kitchen is unsurprisingly created by Gwyneth Paltrow and is her pick up and go food place. And she has these dressings that are GCC certified, which stands for Gwyneth Certified Clean. I wish I was making this shit up. Kristen is having GP's classic-ish Cobb and a side of GCC Dijon mustard vinaigrette. Oh, fuck. Hey. Comes in at a bargainous $16 for a salad. So this has inadvertently become tallying up how much Kristen Cavallari spends to eat in a day. So we have a $2.64 per serving of sea moss gel, $8 for the cochino, $20 for the Hailey Bieber smoothie, another $8 for the second coffee. We're, we're guessing, she didn't tell us what coffee that was. And then $16 for the Gwyneth Paltrow Cobb salad. We're currently at $54.64. And we're only at lunch. Mm, did not put on my positive pants today. Uh, but just really, really yummy. And then again, I'm always pounding water. I have these jugs with me everywhere I go. This water is very bougie. Oh, for a water? Oh, the water's from Air One, people. Shut up. A 64 fluid ounce bottle of water costs $25.99. I'm literally speechless. Air One, what the fuck are you thinking? And the reason I'm so flabbergasted by this is because according to the United States Mission for the United Nations, around 2 million people in the US don't have access to clean water. And then worldwide, one in four people lack access to safe water in their home. I don't even know what to say. Well, let's add that $26 to Kristen Cavallari's Why in a Day tab, because we're up to $80 now. These Papa Steve's bars are awesome. This is their peanut butter one. I basically So she talked about the Papa Steve's bars before. I'm not 
not surprised to see them again. Chris and Cavallari is literally a walking Air One advertisement at this point. They're $5 for the flipping Papa Steve's. And again, this is my problem with the wellness industry. These Papa Steve bars along the top say like no junk raw protein bars, implying that they are a healthier version of something else. And then if you eat a different version of something, it's junk food, whatever. We're adding that $5 to Kristen's tab. We're up to $85, 60 something cents. Flippity flippity. And then for dinner, I had sugarfish, another go-to. I always get the um, Toro on the side, which doesn't come with it. You have to order it extra, but it literally melts in your mouth. It's heaven. I had a little bit of dark chocolate. This is a mint dark chocolate that I just already had at my condo. Um, I keep it in the fridge. And then I had more water before I went to bed that night. And that is basically it. So thanks for coming along. And then she goes to sugarfish, which is another LA staple, something I've still not done. My thing is I don't like to do things that everybody raves about. <laughs> If everybody's raving about something, I don't believe the hype. And that's how I feel about Sugarfish. We actually have a really good sushi place near us that they literally remember our order every time I call. Maybe it's the accent. But I'm like, hi, can I place an order for sushi pickup? And she's like, hi, Laura. <laughs> every time I love it. Okay, I'm not sure which box she's got. If you've had Sugarfish before, tell me. Do you know which box this is? Between the Trust Me box, which is $35, and the Nozawa Trust Me box? They're between $35 and $46, so let's even it out and say that Kristen Cavallari's dinner costs about $40. Give or take, we're looking at about $125-ish here. Good God. From a general what I eat in a day perspective, we did see Kristen Cavallari have breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Oh yeah, snacks, because she had her overpriced protein bar. We saw carbs with some rice with the sushi. We saw protein and we saw some fats. But like from a general what I eat in a day perspective, yes, it was incredibly wellnessy, but we saw Kristen Cavallari eat. And she didn't mention any kind of clean eating. She did talk about the benefits of CMOS gel without actually telling us what the benefits of CMOS gel were, but she didn't mention a cheat meal. Meal. We didn't see a lot of like morality around food, which was actually very pleasant to see. <sighs> Let's just say that Kristen Cavallari drinks the wellness Kool-Aid, okay? Was an expensive what I eat in a day. This was a privileged what I eat in a day. She's basically a walking advertisement for Air One. Between the smoothies, the coffees, the overpriced water, the protein bars. She then incorporated a little bit of Gwyneth Paltrow, which we know is wellness culture personified. I'm surprised she didn't buy something from Poosh. <laughs> And one of my biggest things about what I eat in the day videos is how they make the viewer feel. Whilst Kristen Cavallari didn't give any kind of morality around food, no clean, no cheat meals, none of that shebang, with how much Kristen Cavallari was spending on the food and how the food is labelled or marketed really can make the viewer feel quite shit. The protein bar saying no junk food or Gwyneth Paltrow's GCC Gwyneth Certified Clean Dressing, Hailey Bieber's Strawberry Glazed Skin Smoothie situation, and not forgetting that she also included this CMOS gel which is labelled a superfood which we know is a pile of poo. Trying to finish on a positive note here. Could have been worse, but was very woo-woo, very wellness culture -y. and that can make the viewer feel quite shitty if we're not eating in this way and we're seeing other people eat in this very privileged fashion. It's also worth noting that Kristen Cavallari is really going down this slightly wellnessy, problematic route because not too long ago Kristen Cavallari went viral for saying that she doesn't need sunscreen. And this reminds me of that 2021 moment when Gwyneth Paltrow basically used sunscreen as a highlighter. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting Gwyneth Paltrow vibes from Kristen Cavallari and it's not cute!